serve as members of pro-Russian troops, including fighters of the Chechen Special Forces Unit, stand in front of the destroyed administration building of Azovstal Iron and Steel Works in Mariupol, Ukraine, April 21st. Reuters Chinges Kondarov a man walks downstairs outside a residential building damaged in the southern port city of Mariupol, Ukraine, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A view shows barriers made of vehicles on a road during Ukraine-Russia conflict in the southern port city of Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Chinges Kondarov a Ukrainian state flag is seen on the pavement near buildings in Mariupol, April 22nd. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko People ride bicycles near residential buildings heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 22nd. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko Evacuees raise hands as they wait before boarding a bus to leave the city in the southern port of Mariupol. April 20th. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. A view shows a residential building heavily damaged in the southern port city of Mariupol. April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. Fighters of the Chechen Special Forces Unit, led by Russia's State Duma member Adam Delimkhanov, walk near the administration building of the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Chinges Kondarov Family members walk along a street near damaged residential buildings in Mariupol, April 22nd. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko sensitive material. This image may offend or disturb. Emergency management specialists carry the body of a person killed in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko. An armored convoy of pro-Russian troops moves along a road in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Chinges Kondarov. People walk past a residential building heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A view shows the city of Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko Fighters of the Chechen Special Forces Unit stand in a street in the southern port city of Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Chinges Kondarov sensitive material. This image may offend or disturb. Emergency management specialists gather in a residential building to transport the body of a person killed in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko An armored vehicle of pro-Russian troops drives along a street during fighting near a plant of the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works Company in the southern port city of Mariupol, April 12th. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A service member of pro-Russian troops loads rocket-propelled grenades into an infantry combat vehicle during fighting near a plant of the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works Company in Mariupol, April 12. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko Service members of pro-Russian troops are seen atop of an armored vehicle in Mariupol, April 21. Reuters Chinges Kondarov The Azovstal Iron and Steel Works Company is seen in the background in Mariupol, April 19th. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A view shows residential buildings heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko Evacuees wait before boarding a bus to leave the city of Mariupol, April 20th. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A woman sits on a bench in front of a residential building heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21st. Reuters Alexander Ermyshenko A man walks past a residential building heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21st. 
Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. A record player is seen inside an apartment building destroyed in Mariupol, April 19. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. Local residents carry belongings past a building destroyed in Mariupol, April 19. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. A man sits on a bench in front of a residential building heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. Service members of pro-Russian troops walk in the street during fighting near a plant of the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works Company in Mariupol, April 12. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. A view shows a plant of the Azovstal Iron and Steel Works Company in Mariupol, April 19. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko. A view shows tulips in front of a residential building heavily damaged in Mariupol, April 21. Reuters Alexander Ermashenko.